Three centuries ago, the tribes were started as a resistance to the foreign occupation of the Manchu Emperor of the Qing Dynasty. One of the original triad leaders wielded a sword, a symbol of his great authority and power. Whoever carried the sword held in his hand the combined might of the triad army. To keep his bloodline in command, he declared that the sword be passed as an heirloom down a carefully pruned linear family tree with only a single son in each generation. At any given point in time, the last heir would be the sword carrier and the leader of the triads. But 100 years into his plan, one generation in the main line bore two twin sons, Wu and Chang. Because Chang was the younger twin and thus the last heir, he was given the family heirloom. Unable to settle the differences, Wu and Chang split into two branch families, sworn enemies whose clans battled endlessly through the centuries, both claiming rightful ownership of the family sword. About 20 years ago, JR and Jennifer, the heads of the modern day Chang Dragon main family, or son, destined to be the next leader of the Chang clan. To protect his identity, they raised him alongside three other noble sons from other distant branches of the Chang clan. The four of them, John, Jason, Keith, and Stan, are collectively known as the Dragon Four, or D4, but nobody has evidence of their affiliation with the Chang triads, or the identity of the true heir and the protector of the sword. Meanwhile, Xiao and Daniela, the heads of the modern-day Wu Phoenix main family, are unable to bear children, and thus they fear for the end of their bloodline and their contention for the triad family heirloom. During an incident, also two years ago, as Xiao and Daniela were getting into the car, they spotted an abandoned baby girl nearby and picked her up. <laughs> Break to a time bomb, the car suddenly exploded. but at a safe distance. Thus, Xiao and Daniela narrowly escaped an assassination attempt by an unnamed Chang assassin. Declaring that the baby girl saved their lives, Xiao and Daniela took her in and raised her as their own daughter, and named her Jane. It is now present day. The Dragon Four has since grown up and become skilled in all fields and popular with all the students at a wealthy private school for the elite, BUCSA. Built upon territory fought over by both the Wu and Chang clans, Jane also finds herself enrolled in the semester. She soon discovers that the Dragon Four rule the school and all the other girls swoon as they walk by. But will their popularity betray their secret identity? And what does fate have in store when Jane slowly falls in love with a member of the Dragon Four? <laughs> True. 